two major manufacturers dropping bombshell plug-in announcements on the same day. Let's check it out. What's up, guys? It's Steve from Feather Light Studio, and today we have two massive bombshell announcements about audio plugins from two different companies that nobody saw coming. And the first, if you can believe it, is actually Apple of all people. Let's dive in and find out a bit more about it. All right, so here we are inside of our Cubase project. We've got a basic rack project going on, and we have our standard nine ozones on the master bus that we have set up for every single project we do here. And this is where we're at so far. And as you can see, things are starting to get pretty hot up here in the ASIO meter territory. Things are really cranking as far as the overall latency and we need a little bit of relief. And that's where Apple's brand new M3 plugin comes to the rescue. For those of you working on older systems like we are here, Apple states that if you don't have the cash to put out for an M3 based computer, their new plugin can add the power of an M3 computer system to your existing computer setup. Apple states that their new plugin should be used at the end of your FX chains, be it tracks, buses, or master, but we're gonna start on our master bus and see just how much relief on our ASIO meter we can get starting on our two bus first. We'll start at the the last insert slot of our project on our master bus and we'll navigate down to our tools menu where we have the plugin and then we'll instantiate a version of Apple's M3 plugin. And boom, just like that, we can already see a substantial reduction in our overall latency, and that's just one plugin. Once the plugin opens up, we can see a very familiar Apple esque looking interface, kind of looks a bit like an Apple TV remote on its side, and it shows us the familiar Apple M3 logo. If we click on the plus and minus buttons here on the interface, we can step through the three available choices or strengths of the M3 chip M3 regular, M3 Pro, and M3 Max. Apple states that depending on your computer configuration, not all computers may be able to run the max version of the plugin, and it gives us two downsized versions that we can step through until we find the balance that works best on each system. Apple has done some very clever behind the scenes programming here in this plugin, and they'll auto sync to one another in a project unless you mix and match the powers. Then you'll have to manually sync the plugin. That can be done by pressing this button here. And when pressed, the plugin will cycle through all the plugins in the project until it achieves sync and then return to its regular state. In addition to substantial system latency increases and overall system power, the plugin has some pretty creative uses, far too many to go into in one video. But in this instance, the plugin can be muted, which mutes all of the effects, but only on that track or bus. You can reorder the plugin's position in the chain, or you can choose between two different default sizes depending on your computer screen resolution for the plugin size, or the plugin can be completely powered off. But things get a lot more interesting once we hit the little advanced settings tab. Here we can set some basic utility functions like use monitoring and alerts. We can lock the plugin. We can see the overall current load on the system as a total. We can make notation and log settings here for our own personal use. And of course, the obligatory Apple Care takes to an Apple storefront, we can also click on the Spatial Awareness tab, which takes us to our Dolby Atmos settings. Here we can choose our specific configuration for our system, depending on our surround sound speaker setup. And if we're working in a surround project with those buses already created, our plugin will auto-populate to each bus automatically. But here's where things get really crazy when we click on the app button. On this page, we can actually use an assortment of apps that the plugin hosts inside the DAW environment by itself. This is kind of like Apple's own version of VST plugins, except apps. For example, the music library button allows us to click on any of the songs in our own Apple library and immediately audition them straight to our master bus bypassing all processing. The familiar photos icon allows us to take a quick snapshot of the bus that the plugin currently resides on 
and then put that in our photo library for convenience. And the familiar messaging icon allows us to take any of those series of photos we've created and share them directly with our friends and other people using the same DAW. If we click on the Safari icon, this will open up a Google search window that's specific to the vocal chain or set of chains that we're using on that particular track or bus. Apple even has plans, although it's in the beta stages, of a FaceTime application that can FaceTime directly from the DAW or application to your friend's DAW or application without ever leaving the environment. And if we click on the additional apps icon, this opens up a specific version of the App Store that allows you to choose audio applications that are designed specifically to be hosted directly inside your DAW. What? <laughs> In this example, we're going to take our system latency and crank it down to the lowest possible amount, 32 milliseconds. And then we're going to put an M3 Max on every single bus to see what kind of result we can achieve. <laughs> Holy sh**. Hard to believe that it is literally eliminating our system latency completely. And this is a maxed out session with a ton of plugs and everything on it. And it has completely dropped our latency slider. This new plugin from Apple is just amazing. I can literally feel my workflow speeding up. I mean, everything just sounds faster and faster. And of, and of course, the biggest announcement of all maybe is the universal audio announcement of the brand new Avalon Behemoth plugin. One of the most major significant improvements in analog emulation as far as I can remember. And finally, all of these in one massive studio plugin. Unbelievable, mind blowing. Let's find out more about it. If we jump over here to Universal Audio's website, we can see the Avalon VT737 tube channel strip ads all over the place. It's been a super popular emulation of theirs, but nobody expected this amazing bombshell they were gonna drop this April 1st which introduces the brand new behemoth Avalon channel strip. For the first time ever, Universal Audio is finally combining just about everything that Avalon has ever made into one gigantic studio channel strip. And this includes all of the favorites like the V55, the 747, the 737, the 2055, the 2022, all of them available in one gigantic studio rack configuration. In this example, we have a tiny little project with just a few tracks in it, and we're going to put Universal Audio's brand new plug to work here on one of our insert channels. Once the graphical interface loads up, we get our first look at Universal Audio's brand new behemoth plugin. And of course, with all really, really expensive plugins, the most important thing by far is the picture used for the graphical user interface. We all know that the better the picture of the plugin itself, the better the plugin sounds. And in this particular department, Universal Audio doesn't disappoint. Once the interface opens up, it's basically a huge studio size rack with the control module at the top. If you just right click on either side of the rack ears, then you can add new modules as we go here. First up is the V55 module. This is the DI reamp and preamplifier unit, both units side by side in a two space rack. So stereo operation, all the stuff is there. If you've used one before, you'll feel right at home. Next, we can add the 747 SP. This is the venerable studio classic with all of its side chain and compression options, including the graphic EQ. Thing sounds amazing. And of course, no world famous studio would be complete without Universal Audio's already pre-existing emulation of the 737. By far and away, the most popular R&B and rap vocal preamp on the planet. And now it's available in this giant rack version of all of Avalon's plugins. And if we click one more time, we can add Avalon's AD 2025, the pure class A vacuum tube equalizer. Tone for days, the most famous tone sculpting tool when it comes to pure tube warmth and character. Billions of records been cut on this. And one more click on the rail is the last plugin that's available to click into place, and that's Avalon's AD 2022, their pure class A preamplifier housed in a stereo pair for mountains of tone. Once your entire studio rack is completely full, curiously enough, you can't actually remove any of the modules as Universal Audio's theory here is that if one module sounds great, five modules will sound five times as great. And we completely agree here as you're not gonna get any tonier and any more mojo than this rack provides 
It's mountains of tone, mountains of mojo, mountains of signal, mountains of amplitude. The sheer amount of signal you can produce with this one module would easily power a small village or town. And we say gain staging be damned. It's easily worth the exorbitant cost and the ridiculous signal chain limitations just to achieve this kind of analog mojo. Once you've tweaked all of your faders and knobs to your analog mojo's heart's desire, you can actually use the obligatory included all buttons in mode, which simultaneously depresses every single button on every single module, whether you need it or not. And if we come up here to the top left of the control module and we press the advanced button, this takes us around to the back side of the rack, exposing the more advanced settings. And as you can see, there is a lot of power and sophistication that goes into driving this behemoth of a channel strip. From the sheer brute force power and CPU muscle included in this plugin, to the incredible sophistication of each one of the individual algorithms. There's a lot to unpack here. The ability to dive in and tweak every aspect of these incredibly complex emulations are really what sets this plugin apart from your average run of the mill and much more inexpensive plugin manufacturers. Yeah. All right, ready? Let's Go. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 Oh.